So let's now look at deploying the this app onto the Firebase hosting. So what the index was that they gave us, um, this was our Svelte one, and the, the Firebase, when you create the tip project, it gives you this here. And uh, what, it is, what it looks like when it's rendered is something like this. But anyway, we don't want this, we want Svelte, so we'll just um, revert this change here. Da -da -da -da. And I've also just moved all of the Firebase stuff into the Firebase specific folder. And we've also commented out some of the stuff we don't need right now. So the Svelte app, before with Netlify, we had stuff to do with... Um, well, we had it looked like this here. So I'll just I've, I'll remove some things. So we've removed the Firestore and the functions. We're don't, not using that yet. So anyway, let's just look at what we've done here. So we've got um, a simplified JSON and we've just um, moved the Svelte app back over. So we're just going to run build, so npm run build, which has got a shortcut for it on aliases. So that's going to give us an output folder. It's going to look like this here, and swell up. So let's now deploy this, so we, do, we can run Firebase deploy like that. So far, so good. So it's adding these seven files, uploading new files. Right, so it's given um, this console and it's given this URL here. So let's just click on that and see if it works. It should look like an existing uh, app. Right, so this is the the thing that we're actually hosting on Net Netlify for. And it's also still work the same way as Netlify. Um, but of course, that it's been hosted by Firebase. So let's just check to see the existing Netlify things will actually work. So we're just going to sign in here and uh, password. Let's just put that in there. Sign in. Okay, so we're logged in and uh, that works well. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that is basically how you deploy to Firebase. And for the next video, we'll look at adding the Firebase uh, user authentication methods.